It's really cool because you get to read about places that I know. So when they would talk about street names or places they went on dates, it was cool because I've been to those too. Hazel. Now she's talking about the movie The Fault in Our Stars. It was based on a book by a local author and it was set here in Indianapolis. But although the movie is set here in Indy, producers did not film it here. Eyewitness News reporter Mary Mills explains why the production company took a story from Indianapolis and shot it somewhere else. Mary? Well, you know, this isn't the first high-profile movie set in Indiana and not filmed here. You have to remember this iconic scene from Close Encounters of the Third Kind. It's actually supposed to be Muncie, but not one second of this scene or any central Indiana scene from this movie was actually shot here. It's the same thing with the fault in our stars. Why? Money. It was so, so, so good. It was like the best movie ever. I love it so much. These young fans' only disappointment? Why are you staring at me? Because you're beautiful. <laughs> that the part of the movie set in Indy was filmed in Pittsburgh. They wish it was here. Because then, like, Because what if we ran into the like, actors one yeah, day? <laughs> and, like, then, like, Indiana would, like, get, like... Famous. The, like, really famous. They didn't see Holiday Park, didn't see the Speedway Station, or even the city skyline. I'm a heart. But they did see the IMA's funky bones, sort of. Filmmakers actually had the artist recreate this entire sculpture in Pittsburgh. And even doing that, it was much cheaper than filming the scene here. This was about Kip Norman, since the, the, the title of this. Jonathan Fry, an independent filmmaker, says for the big studios, it's all about the bottom line. And they're going to all sorts of states to try to figure out where they're going to get the best incentives to film because they're bringing in um, production crews are most likely not hiring from here because we don't have an industry here. Indiana is just one of 11 states that doesn't offer filmmakers like Fry or even the big movie makers any tax incentives. It stopped in 2012. We have the Heartland Basile Theater. Heartland Films Greg Sorvig says that hurts. But the majority of the states that offer good tax incentives brings great artistic attention to the state, tourism. And he says shooting The Fault in Our Stars here would have brought both money and exposure to Indiana. Well, imagine having a Super Bowl on smaller scales multiple times throughout the year. The whole community is involved, excited. When that film comes out, imagine the premieres, imagine the ticket sales. So, what's your story? But he also thinks the debate over incentives just got a big boost. If this was the type of film that we needed to really kind of blow the lid off this topic in Indiana. And it certainly did open big. It is expected to be the number one movie at the box office this weekend, even beating out Tom Cruise. So yes, this movie could play a role in pushing new incentives to get more films shot here. John and Andrea. All right.